Hi, in this video we're going to do a uh, short division without using a calculator. So work out the following without uh, using a calculator. So we've got 725 divided by 5, 928 divided by 4, 3948 divided by 7. So setting out the first one, we have 5 and then we have 7 to 5 and then we need to draw this line in here. And then we proceed to do this. 7 divided by 5. So you need to realise it's 5 it's being divided into 725, not the other way around. So 7 divided by 5 is uh, 1. And now how many are left over? We realise that 2 are left over. So we write that little 2 there. Might be useful to write it in a different colour if you can. 5s into 22 go 4 times. And how many left over is 2 again. So we write the little 2 here. And then 5s into 25 will be 5. So we can say 725 divided by 5 is equal to 145. B. 4s into 928. So remember 4 has been divided into 928. Same idea. 9 to 8. Draw this line in and then put the 4 out in front. And then we do 9 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 9 two times and how many left over which is one four into uh, to 12 goes into three times exactly so there's no remainder so we don't need to worry about putting anything up here now and then eight divided by four is two so we need to do nine 928 divided by four gives me an answer 232 and then the final one seven into three thousand nine hundred forty eight again Write down this number here, draw the line in. Now we have a strange situation here because 7 doesn't go into 3. So either you can say now 7's into 39 or put that little 3 there. That depends on how you want to work. Now 7 goes into 39 five times and there's going to be 4 left over. Right, so you do need to know your times tables here. 7's into... Uh, 44 goes six times and there are six sevens are 42 so there will be two left over for if we do 44 minus 42 and then sevens into 28 goes exactly four times and therefore we got 3948 divided by seven is equal to 564 so this has been a video to show you how to use a sort of pencil and paper method for doing short division. So we're only really dividing here by one number. When we've got two numbers, a two digit number here, we'll look at that in a different video. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.